Hi everybody and welcome back to the Nerd Shelves. My name is Michael and happy Thursday. I wanted to talk about something I've been thinking about lately. Now that with, with self-isolation and I don't get to go to my regular gaming group anymore, there are other gaming situations that I, I think I, I really took for granted before and I just wanted to, to show my appreciation for that. So uh, one that I'm really thinking about is on the weekend, on a Saturday or Sunday morning, still in our pajamas and play a board game over coffee. It's something I really, really enjoy and I really appreciate it. So today I'm going to talk about five games that I love to play over morning coffee. Okay, so when I started thinking about this, I started thinking what makes a game work over morning coffee? There, there are five different criteria that I actually thought of. The first one is it needs to be a game that is has easy setup. You don't want to spend a whole bunch of time setting up a complicated game, especially in the morning when you just want to sit down and have a nice game over coffee. Number two, the game can't be too long. I think the 30 minutes to an hour is a perfect length of time. Number three, there can't be too many moving parts and a bunch of housekeeping. You don't want to have all these complicated pieces and having to think too much about moving everything everywhere. It kind of takes away from the whole morning coffee experience. Number four, Obviously, the gameplay needs to be fairly relaxing, which means you don't want a game that is way too overthinky with lots of AP, a lot of take that, okay? You want more of a relaxed gaming experience. And the last one is, I think that this is important too, is that it needs to play well with two players. In, in the morning, it's usually just Judy and I. There's only two of us, so the game obviously needs to play well with two players. So here are my five games that I love to play over morning coffee. Notice how I didn't say top five because there are probably thousands of games that work well in this category. This, these are just five examples of games that work well over coffee. Why don't you leave comment below and let me know what games you play. I would love to hear them and I would also love to try them. I'm always interested in new suggestions of games that we can try. Okay. Number one, this is a game that I've been talking a lot about lately because it is amazing. This game is Parks. I think Parks is the perfect morning coffee game. It works well with two players. It's super easy to set up with the game insert, just pulling out the game insert and all the components sit in there. It's, it's just really, really easy to set up. It plays really smooth, it plays well. Yeah, there's a little bit of take that in the spots that you can um, put your hikers on, but it's not a mean game at all. It is just a fantastic game. It plays within that time frame of 30 minutes to an hour bonus. It's beautiful, it's just a beautiful game. So I think Parks is a super relaxing game that is perfect over morning coffee. Number two, it says it right in the name, Bob Ross, The Art of Chill. Judy and I, actually, we like this game more than we expected to. First of all, obviously it's beautiful. It has all of the prints of Bob Ross's real paintings, which is awesome. But the game itself is really relaxing. It's an easy game to set up. It's easy to play. Yeah, there's a little tiny bit of take that if you complete a painting before your opponent, but not really. We just really, really enjoyed it. And we actually take this game when we go on holidays because it's so relaxing. So that makes Bob Ross, The Art of Chill, perfect over morning coffee. Number three, this is the game that actually got Judy into board gaming. It was one of her favorite games, Splendor. Splendor is a great game over morning coffee because it, again, it's a pretty relaxing game. It's nice and smooth and it, it's quite simple to play and you're just taking different gems and which are nice poker chips and you're 
you're buying the cards and it's just a nice back and forth, nice, smooth, relaxing, and it doesn't play too long. It's pretty short, uh, within that 30 minutes to an hour, and it's it looks pretty too. So Splendor is a perfect game over morning coffee. Number four is a bit of a modern classic, so to speak. This may not be everybody's favorite game, but it is a very, very, very popular game and plays very well at two players. Carcassonne. For some reason, this is a game that we take camping all the time. We always play this game camping, I think because it, it's just so relaxing and it's very easy to play. And you can sit and have a conversation while you're playing it and you don't have to think too hard about your moves. And, and yeah, it, it's just a really great game to have over morning coffee. My last game is Jaipur. This is the only game on the list that is only for two players, but let's face it, I only ever have my morning coffee with Judy, so it's perfect for this list. Jaipur is very easy game to play again. There's a little bit of thinking in it. It's relaxing. You're just collecting cards and collecting sets and putting them down to collect the tokens and it plays really quickly. You can play it one round at a time, even though the rules say it's the first person to win two rounds, but you can, you can actually probably have a game done in 20 minutes. It's, it's that quick and it looks nice on the table and it's really easy to set up. So there are my, not top, but five examples of great games to play over morning coffee. Like I said earlier, I'm sure there are a thousand games that you could play over morning coffee and really enjoy it. So why don't you leave comments below, tell me what games you enjoy on those nice, relaxing Saturday, Sunday mornings over morning coffee. Okay, that's it for now, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay happy. Now go get another game off of your nerd shelves. Take care, bye.